13 years ago, while I was watching Chinese children do mathematics, I became fascinated with the abacus. At first I thought their IQ must be far higher than European IQs. But I was wrong. I was watching them do this maths with a, and shouting the answers to a master just as fast as he wrote the numbers on the blackboard. There are two initial facts which you have to think about. The abacus provides us with 1110 answers. And my friend, Professor Winston Hackstone, a theoretical physicist, tells me that a good mathematician can provide us with over one billion questions for it. Now the purpose of Abacus 1 is the effortless teaching of arithmetic. The first question that I would ask you to answer is how many times 1 have we got on the abacus? One thousand one hundred and ten times one. The second question is, what is one one thousand one hundred and ten divided by two? We simply split the pattern. And the answer's there, 555. Starts with simple counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 and there's 10. What's the difference? The difference is the value of the columns. These columns represent the fingers. So this is the finger column. 10 fingers. This is the column for, for 10. So each counter here is 10. That's 10, that's 10, that's 10, that's 10. This is 100, that's 100. That's, that's 100, there are 300 together. We've counted to 10, so now we exchange 10. And we do it at first by using both hands in an exchange mechanism, just like that. Normally we can read the abac abacus, but when we're counting in the teens we can't. There are 30 words needed to take us to a million million. And there are 20 of those words on this, on here. But the words we're missing are the teens, or starting basically at 11. So this is why we count so precisely. 10 and 1 are 11. 10 and 2 are 12. 10 and 3 are 13. 10 and 4 are 14. 10 and 8 are 18. 10 and 9 are 19. 10 and 10 are 20. There's our 20. We exchange another 10 for 10. When we carry on, we just go 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. When you're showing an adult, it doesn't matter. They've got the principle by then. But when you're showing a child, it needs to run gently through number by number. So we've got another 10 there. We exchange 30. Another 10. We exchange 10. Another 10. We exchange 10. Another 10. Sorry. Another 10, we exchange 10. Another 10, we exchange 10. We have 100 in the centre column. It's important to move it across at that time. So therefore, the same principle occurs, moving 10 tens into a block of 100. 
And then we continue 101, 102, 103, 104, 109, 110, exchange 10, 110, 110 and 1 are 111. 110 and 2 are 112. 110 and 3 are 113. 110 and 9 are 119. 110 and 10 are 120. Okay, we've got 120. So either 121 or count through to, t to 9, it doesn't matter. But from then on we can count the rest of the the rest of the numbers to 1110 simply by reading. Now one of the important things about using this abacus is you're using it at the same time as the child is learning to read.